If you look at over 30 years, China equities have returned zero. Basically, it's gone up and gone back down to where it was 30 years ago. It was shocking. So the other thing is that hard to believe. I think we're entering a period of even greater uncertainty now than we were six months to a year ago. Opening up is a huge gamble. The markets are rallying right now, like, yeah, China's opening up. Yeah, but at what cost? Anecdotally, here's some things to watch out for. The real estate market's still kind of weak. Local governments are broke. I have friends who were providing technical services for local governments. And at a certain point, the government just said, we can't pay you anymore. Sorry, here's a medal for your service. So local governments are still broke. And then wages are suddenly spiking because everyone's so scared. And I don't know how long this will last, but a similar situation happened in the US after opening up. So the wages are suddenly spiking, but there's a weird thing where like, everyone's allowed to self-isolate, isolate at home if you get COVID. But most workers live in dorms, not just the factory workers, but the entire Chinese service sector. So all your delivery people, all your waiters and waitresses, the clerks in every store, probably all the logistics workers in every factory, they're all living in dormitories. So once this thing starts ripping through the dorms, even if people aren't dying, right, they're just like, I'm not feeling really good. You're going to have a really wonky couple of months, I suspect. Like you saw it even in Foxconn, they had to pay more money to get people to come. Please stay in the factory.